So welcome back to the channel. As you may see, I have a new team member with me here who is going to be doing some of the new videos for the Future Doc channel to give a new perspective on what medical school is like these days. It's been a long time since I was at medical school and Daniela is currently at Warwick as a grad and she's going to be doing some of the videos. Tell them a little bit about yourself, Daniela. Sure. Hi, I am Daniela. I am a third year medic at Warwick Medical School. I did biomedical science as my undergrad and yeah, I'm loving it so far. Here we're going to talk a little bit about dentistry particularly and kind of how it compares from my experience at dental school, which is the most recent one that I did, versus medicine and kind of our opinions on how to get through it, whether you should go for it, what routes you want to go down and really just help you understand whether it's the right course for you, which one is the right, right route for you and also how to maximize your chances of getting into either one you decide to go down. So Daniela is going to kick us off. Uh, go ahead, what's your question for me, Daniela? So Ash, would you say that dental school is harder than medical school? Uh, very tricky and slightly loaded question. Um, I think they're very different. And to be honest, I think medical school has probably changed a lot now compared to what it was like when I went there. Um, I think dentistry, and I think if I would have said it, if I'd have done them a different way around, I would probably say differently. I think knowing all the medical knowledge that I knew, and that is a very difficult thing because apparently you pick up 30,000 new words when you go into medicine, which is like learning a new language. So then translating that and taking it over to dentistry was a lot easier. So if I'd have done it the other way around, I probably would have found it equally as easy going the other way. Um, the things that I'd say are mostly different about dentistry than medicine is that with, in dentistry, you have your own caseload, especially at King's where I studied. You have a, a list of patients, you're responsible for them, although you're being supervised. And it's really on you to make sure that you look, af you look after them and you, know, you can't not turn up because someone is relying on you. Whereas in medical school, you're there to shadow mostly. And although you do have some responsibilities, when I was at medical school, really, if I didn't turn up other than my own learning that I missed, I would probably, yeah, I wouldn't influence or affect anybody. So for me, although I think medical school was probably a little bit more challenging because of the material, there was much more material and you had to go into a lot more depth. I think actually the day-to-day -day grind of dental school and the responsibility was probably higher than medical school. That's so interesting. So I have a couple of questions then just about the course in general. So I know that for medicine, there are different ways and pathways into the degree. As an undergraduate, you could do uh, five to six years in the UK, or you could do graduate entry medicine, um, which is four years. What's the difference then if you're applying to dentistry? So in dentistry, you can also do a five year course or a four year course. So if you're a graduate, um, yeah, you can you can use that degree and go down the four year route. It's also same as medicine. It's much more difficult going that way. Um, I would say in terms of the competitiveness, I mean, well, there are way fewer uh, dental grad schools than there are dental schools, but also there are generally fewer schools compared to medicine and there are fewer places. What's interesting about dentistry is that it has definitely uh, increased in competition recently and actually overtaken medicine. So now for your average undergraduate med school applicant, so average person going to the five year course, it's a 16, about 16.7. So between 16 and 17% success rate. Um, whereas a dentist, it's about 15% now as of the last few years. So again, really like increased in competitiveness and there are way fewer places there's only about 1100 for undergraduate dentistry uh, but then when you're talking about grad it's a whole different ball game it's uh you know it goes from about 16 like 16 17 percent for medics uh to the graduate medics is about two to three percent so a whole different ball game altogether having done both dentistry and medicine which one would you say was more enjoyable while you were studying? Oh, again, really difficult question. Uh, okay, so more enjoyable. Uh, I think, again, this is so hard to say whether it's because it was my first degree or, or because my second, you know, you a bit more experienced and you've been there, done that sort of thing. But with medicine, because I was fully there, I was completely, you know, I, I moved to a new city, to Cardiff, to, to study there. I had all my friends and I was fully immersed in it. That one, 
felt more formative and felt more, yeah, I guess more significant. Whereas when I was a bit older and I was working and I had other things going on and then I went and did a, a dental degree, it was shorter for one. And naturally I just didn't have enough time, as, as much time, sorry, to form those same bonds with people and really get to know it as well as I did. So I guess, um, yeah, I wouldn't say that Ayla is my better friend, but one, it, but medicine is probably my oldest friend. If you see what I mean. So it's it's tricky. It's a difficult a difficult one to answer. I think, um, again, medicine studying medicine was probably very different when I in my day, um, because I think it was less strict as well. So again, we didn't need to be in as much as everyone thinks. Like people think that it's a Monday to Friday, nine to five. And in theory it is, but in practice for, for us, it wasn't like that. However, I feel like nowadays it is l much stricter and requires more people to, um, you know, sign registers and just really prove that they're there all the time. Do you think that's true? Yeah, I think they definitely monitor us and want us to be in and, you know, just look at our attendance because, well, I think medical schools can see that the more engaged that you are and you demonstrate that through your attendance and through actually being there then the more successful and the better we will do in the long term so i think that's why they do that but i've definitely noticed that they are quite keen on us being being there yeah and i, th I think that's not just at warwick medical school i think it's also across all medical schools especially the london ones that i see students in so definitely so i have one more question for you ash Let's say you meet the criteria or the entrance requirements for both dentistry and medicine and you're a bit unsure, mm -hmm. you haven't really figured out which one you want to do, how would you advise someone who's in that position? How do you choose? Okay, so I guess really the question is, I would divide it into long-term career and versus immediate thing of medical and dental school. So I think when people apply to medicine or dentistry, they, they either, they're usually thinking of one. They're either thinking of becoming a doctor slash dentist or they're thinking immediately of medical or dental school. Usually it's, they're not, they're thinking kind of way down the line versus like what the reality of getting through the next five or so years is going to be like. So I think you're going to need to think about both and what kind of like how mentally prepared you are to go through the degrees. So again, I'm not a fit no one will ever be a fair test because you'll naturally always do one before the other i think medical school to get through through exams and again it's such a shock to the system the breadth and depth of the material that you need to understand and know inside out is so difficult and that's really psychologically stressful for a lot of people um, especially in the first couple of years while you're getting used to that volume now for a lot of people it can really play havoc with their mental health and i think you probably agree that people have you've seen people who have really struggled with that not across the board and i don't want to put people off but it's just a reality that you have to um be prepared for and know how you're going to cope with the the stress of, of such an intense course dentistry is not easy by comparison but i would say that generally and again i don't want to upset too many people here but generally i i personally found medical school harder now then you've got to think about the degree and i do a whole video on medicine versus dentistry in this video here actually but you got to think of the things that are important to you so is controlling your time important as in the hours that you are at work because if they are then dentistry will give you more control that doesn't necessarily mean that dentistry is better it's just in medicine you can still have control over your time for sure but it more dentistry more naturally lends itself to that and that doesn't again you can have great control over your hours as a doctor but it, but normally within the kind of standard framework you are going to have less so than if you are a dentist that's without doubt um the other thing is money because money at the time of filming this there are a lot of junior doctor strikes and a lot of it's in the news a lot now i'm hoping for the bet well, it kind of has to change really um but um, I'm optimistic for the future of that, but still, hands down, dentistry wins in terms of um, in terms of finances. Then, I mean, other areas that you'd consider are probably meaning, right? Challenge and meaning. So, I personally believe that 
it's up to you to make to find challenge and all, all of that sort of stuff and stimulation in your own career and anybody in any field or any specialty can get a bit stagnant so it's really up to you to do what you need to do to keep things fresh but i think in terms of continual development and the volume of of information we're getting and how things are changing medicine is a lot more challenging in that sense and almost forces you to continually push and learn and grow whereas with dentistry and it's very similar with gps as well in medicine is that things can get stale pretty quick if you don't do things off your own back and aren't proactive about changing the way that your career is set up how your work week is set up to keep it stimulating and keep it fresh for you and I suppose thinking about it, the final thing would probably be how passionate you are. Now, in in dentistry, you obviously specialize in a very certain area, i.e. the mouth, for those of you who aren't familiar. Um, but I would also say that when you go into medicine, you specialize, you know, and you become a nephrologist and you specialize in the kidney, or if you become a neurologist and you specialize in the brain and, uh, you know, in the nerves, then you do still focus in on a very small area and that's the nature of how medicine is going but medicine the variety obviously is a lot wider versus dentistry there are definitely specialties that you can go into in certain areas of the mouth and mouth care um but the like i say the options are fewer so if you're passionate about something and i would i would certainly encourage you to see if you could be passionate about uh, treating people's mouths because that's a big part of what you're going to be doing but then also if there's any other area in medicine that you are passionate about because realistically once you specialize you will still have a very it's i mean a reasonably wide but as narrow area that you focus on and yeah the difference between the two is probably that you have less choices as you go into dentistry well thanks so much for sharing all of that batch that was so cool to find out the differences between dentistry and medicine um, I'm sure some of our viewers found that really useful. If you guys would like some more information on dentistry versus medicine, check out this video up here. And if you just want some general support or want some more information about getting in, then check out this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.